like, it's not all jokes. I go, I said one thing. I can't say one thing. All right. <laughs> then he tells me to take the big plate, the 45-pound plate. He's like, hold it over your head and run down to the pier and back. And the pier is like three-quarters of a mile. And I go, nope. <laughs> not doing that. He's like, you're quitting? You're quitting on me right now? And I go, no, I'm not quitting. It's just that um, the Holy Spirit... It talks to me, too. And said, so there's no way I'm going to make this run without throwing up and people pointing and laughing at me. So I'm going to get a peanut butter protein shake right now. I'm out, man. Later. And I took off. So I'm a dad. <laughs> and uh, I am. I've changed some. Not too much. You have to change a little bit. You know, there's an expression, having kids changes you. I think, personally, I think it should be modified to having kids should change you. It's a big time red flag when you meet somebody who's like, yeah, I've had four kids. I haven't changed at all. And you're like, oh, you're super unstable. That's good to know. <laughs> they don't have to be huge changes, but you know, you, you, you kind of evaluate your life and you make a change. But me, personally, I'm very proud of what I changed. I, I realized when I had kids, I had no time, no energy. I need to edit something out of my life. You know what I edited out of my life? Arguing with everyone. Every friend, every family member, I just don't engage. As soon as it starts, I flip it on them, okay? So as soon as I'm arguing with somebody and they're like, yeah, I don't really agree with you, I go, yep, I'm on your side now. <laughs> and they're like, what? I go, I, as soon as you spoke, I came around and joined you. <laughs> That's how little I want to talk to you. <laughs> and I'm free. Feels great. Now, not everybody likes it. I'll tell you, my own mother is not a fan. <laughs> She lives for arguing. There are some people built like that. She lives for, com you know, combative things. She wants to just fucking stab, and twist, and turn. She loves it. She's also a dream crusher, which is my least favorite quality in a human being. You know a dream crusher? The person who, no matter what you say, you want to do or try, they're like, mm-mm. Not you. And you're like, it's good to have you around, you know? They'll stay with you, right? Like, I bet you me just bringing it up brings them to your own memories. That's how powerful they are. I remember, I do remember telling her, I was like, I'm going to L.A. to do stand-up. This is years ago. I say it to her. I'm going to L.A. to do stand-up. Her response was, you should go to the post office. <laughs> I was so naive. I was like, they do stand-up shows at the post office? <laughs> and she goes, no, to work. I was like, oh, no, no, no. Stand-up would be the work. And she goes, I understand. I was like, wait a minute, am I telling you my dream and then you're saying, go be a mailman? <laughs> and she was like, Jason. <laughs> okay, now I do all right, you know, I make a good living. She knows about it, obviously. She hits me up for shit constantly. But <laughs> I still get to have some fun. Like, you know what I sent my mother just a few weeks ago for her 75th birthday? A book of fucking stamps. And... <laughs> I put a little note in there. I got these at work today. Ha 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 ha. Last one I ever went on. I boarded with my wife. We get on. She looks at our boarding passes and she goes, uh, we're not sitting next to each other. And I go, okay. <laughs> I don't know. She goes, you don't want to switch seats? And I go, not really. She goes, why not? I said, because we don't have to. She goes, what does that mean? I said, well, there's only two people that have to sit next to each other, and they're up front. <laughs> we can sit anywhere. And she goes, you're going to ask people to move. And I was like, great. It should be a real treat. So <laughs> that's always fun, right? You all settled in? You want to stand the fuck up now? Great. So... We're both window seats. We need an aisle to move. So I go to the guy sitting next to her, and this guy is old. I don't know how old, but it doesn't look good, all right? He's, he's drooling. He's got rubber where there used to be bone. Put it this way. It's his last flight, all right? So after this one, no mas. So I go, excuse me, Gandalf, do you think that you could move? So I can sit next to my wife, and he goes, move. Mm-hmm. 